Okay, this tutorial is going to be on how to uh, download and upload a text string to a server. It's actually quite easy once you figure out what to do. So let's go ahead and create a new project. All right, I'm going to try and make this. I'm not going to use that thing where the uh, screen capture software follows a cursor. Hopefully that will make it easier for you to read. Um, we're going to create a new view-based application because that has all the stuff that we need. I'm just going to call it write to server 3 since I already have other projects with that name. All right. So here is my project. And uh, I'll just drag this over here so we can see what's going on. And uh, I'll drag this out so it fills up our window. All right. And I'll open up the, um, oops, we'll open up this uh, interface builder file which is the viewcontroller.zip file. And I'll try and drag all these things into view here. Now I'm working with limited screen real estate, so kind of bear with me here. So let's, uh, let's make a, um, a UI here. And uh, let me make the background a different color so that uh, it's easy to see the UI components. All right. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a text view in here. I'll kind of drag it over to the side so it doesn't take up the whole screen there and hopefully I won't uh, I won't crash things when it's okay where's the interface builder there it is okay all right I'll drag this around so that it uh, sits in there all right and uh, let's go ahead and change the background color of this text to white all right and now we can see it really easy okay so now we just have an area to, to store some text and uh, I'm just going to, this is going to be a very simple uh, program where we have an area to store some text and we have one button to upload text to the server and a button to download text to the server. All right, so we just create these two buttons here and we'll save this interface builder file. All right, so the next thing we need to do is to get the functionality to work correctly. Uh, we're going to have to create uh, interface um, connections for these uh, three items here, the text area, the upload button, and the download button. So we'll go back here to our view controller, and inside of our interface here, we're going to say IB outlet and uh, UI text view, and we'll call this text view, and IB outlet UI button call this upload button and IB outlet UI button call it download button all right and then we're gonna need to create two interface builder actions for the upload and download button so I will say IB action for internet interface builder action uh, upload and IB action call it download all right so now inside of the view controllers file we need to create some uh, the actual uh, methods function methods for these so I always do them right above the deallocation method so IB action and uh, up upload and hopefully you can see this text better I've increased the text size a little bit IB action oops download all right okay so now um, when I build it I should not get any errors and I succeeded so that's good so now let's go back to interface builder and connect the interfaces to the uh, the uh, actions that we just created all right so um, we need to create we need to connect this text associate this text view with the, the text view that we created. So I'm going to drag the new referencing outlet to the files owner. And as you can see, it's context sensitive, so it shows the text view there. We don't want the view, we just, we just want the text view. All right, when we select the button, uh, we don't need to do that with the button, we just need to connect the uh, actions of the button to this. So we'll drag the touch up inside to the files owner, and we have an upload action we associate with that. And we'll do the same thing for the download action download all right okay 
So um, if I were to build and go, I get uh, my stuff here. I've succeeded in my build, and of course nothing will happen right now. I'll just be clicking on these, but nothing will happen. Um, but we'll connect that in a second here. So now the actions are going to do something, and uh, it's it's pretty simple actually to to go ahead and download text from a a, uh, a URL. And what I found was you can in include your FTP information inside of your URL. So um, as you would expect, you have to create a URL URL object, and then you have to go ahead and uh, uh, load that object uh, in the contents of that object into your text field. So we're going to just uh, create the, the download, uh, obj uh, download function right now. So let's create a URL to access the URL on our server. Okay, NS URL. And we'll call this URL equals, oops, bracket, NS URL. And we'll, we'll create a URL with string. And as you can see, it already pops up. And uh, here's what you have to do is uh, at, at sign to show that you're creating a string object. Quotes, HTTP colon slash slash. And I, I can't show you this stuff on my server, but uh, the information on my server. But what you would do is you would say um, uh, username, for example. This is your FTP information. Colon password. Well, I cannot type today, can I? At and then the rest of your URL. So it would be uh, your server, for example, dot com slash text file dot text and end quotes and brackets and semicolon. All right. So you, uh, NS URL was string and you would have your HTTP colon slash slash all that stuff. And then uh, your username colon password at sign and then the rest of your, your URL. And your text file should be encoded in the UTF-8 uh, text file encoding style. Okay, if you encode it in some RTF or whatever, some weird thing, you may get problems. All right, so that's it. And uh, now we're going to create an object here. Let me see what I'll, I'm having to copy this from my other uh, stuff here. In this string, okay. So now we need to create a, uh, a string object to hold the uh, data we're going to download. So in a string, and I will call it uh, my string, for example, equals in a string, string with contents of URL. And uh, we will feed it the URL, URL object that we created. All right. And then finally, I'm going to load the contents of that string object into my text field. So it's a, uh, oh, did I call it text file? Let me see here. No, text view, that's what it is. It's text view. Text view dot text equals my string. All right, so I'm gonna build that and I succeeded. Hopefully this will work correctly. So as you can see, it only takes three lines of code to get some text into here. And there we go. So, um, oops, I don't know how I brought that. Oh, I brought that up by accidentally clicking into the text field. And, it, and as you'll notice here, when I go in here you, and uh, I try to hit return, it's not working. I'll show you later on how to, how to work with that.